Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We're coming to you with a little Compass Box Gold Standard. What is that? It's a uh, limited edition special release for Benny's in Chicago. Yeah. And let's test it. We're going to test it! Chicago Chi Town style. Let's test it. Boom. All right. Super Scotch. We'll jump right into the Super Scotch. Super Scotch God shout out. Say that ten times real Ooh, fast. Super Scotch. Uh, Michael S is Woo! responsible for us getting this bottle. Mike he arranged. S. He arranged for us to get it, as we like to say. Because you can only get this in a Benny's. In Benny's, and I know there's uh, several Benny's around. I don't know if it's just the Chicago location okay. that you can get it from, or if it's any of the Benny's. I bet you it's any Benny's. Um, I have a brother. Eight, that lives near there, and I talked about maybe we should travel and see him. Ah. Now, you looked on there, there was 840, 95? 895 bottles 895. available? 895. Uh, I brought up my brother, and I could see, like, where is he going? <laughs> 46% ABV. Now, gold standard is what Benny's was named when it originally opened 70 years ago, which is why they did this special edition for their right. 70th anniversary. Right. Only so, 895 bottles. 70 years ago would have put them... 1948. Yeah. Wow. It said it on there. I could never do the math that <laughs> quick. <laughs> uh, you know what I do like on there? It also mentions in the back label that Benny's has been supporting Compass Box uh, since early on. I will say that we have been too... Mm. We need to work on a dummies bottle. Yeah, with that one of these be, days. Yeah, that one of these days. Cool. We probably got to get a little yeah. bigger. Benny's is huge. Four fifty one, by the way. Now the right. sale of these coins could help us do that. We wouldn't be the gold standard though. It'd be like the goofy standard. <laughs> what? Wouldn't it? Come on, you got me here. You'd want. You wouldn't want it to be the goofy standard. You'd be like, dang it, why's it got to be the goofy standard? Would it be the dummy style? What would it be? Yeah, I think so. Okay. The dummy blend. The dummy blend. That would be great. And it's all uh, black and yellow. Yep. They can do some wild stuff. That's got a good nose on it. It does. Boy, it I, actually, right out there. I was picking the nose up just when I was yeah. pouring it. What do you get, though? It's kind of interesting. It, I, I hate to say it because we just did it, but the, the Hibiki Harmony, I'm getting nice, light citrus fruits, vanillas. I get a lot of vanilla, but I'm getting something else, and it's not quite banana, but it may be like... Trop I'm, I was going to say okay. mango, uh, tangerine, tropical fruits. All right. I think I, I got it. I could go banana. Have you ever had like a, a, I don't know, like a banana fluff? It's where you take like a whole whipping cream, maybe some Cool Whip, and a banana, and you whip it together, and it kind of gets this fluff, and you can put it almost like a, almost like a... Like a dollop on top of an ice cream. Hmm. I no, know. I've never done that, but I, I can. Sorry, I can that's, taste what you're selling. Okay, and I'm that's kind of what this reminds you selling. of. Think of a meringue, almost like the meringue that's on top of a of a kind of meringue pie. Mm -hmm. That cream stuff is kind of what I'm getting. Yeah, definitely. Boy, it's making my mouth water. <laughs> it really is. Woo. Coconut. Hmm. And now I tasted this the other night just a, a little bit. It really, and it's going to, well, I'll wait till I get into my tasting notes. Yeah. Very nice nose. I get a lot of oak on the forefront. I'm going to have to come back to the middle. There's a maltiness on the finish. A malty, vanilla, sweet honeycomb. This has opened up just from, there's a lot more jumping out at me than there was the other night. Well, and you and I had talked. It was a little stuffy at first. Yeah, the, the very first sip I had of this, I was like, the nose was giving me more than the palate. I would say the nose is still more intriguing to me with the, the causing the salivation and the meringue feeling and the, the whole whip thing I was talking about. But it's got a lot of good flavors as well. Some I'm getting spices. a very nice floral sherry. A nice, um, almost like some of the Irish sherried um, notes that I get. Um, 
Well, and the Tomatin 36 that we have has a little bit of this in there. Or this has a little bit of the Tomatin 36 note, sherry notes to it. Very, very faint wisp of smoke. Oak. This comes off. A lot of oak. Uh, I feel there's a lot of at least 18-year-old whiskey in this. Hmm. I feel. It's rich. It's deep. Wow. Hey, I mean, Compass Box is known for a lot of their blends have older right. stuff in them, but I, this does feel... Have you looked up the... Uh -uh, I didn't. Oh. I, do they have some... They have some of it on the back. On... Um, there's still a hint of the trailing sweet vanilla, and I've got an astringency, slight astringency to the mouth with still some of that, what I call powdered sugar dryness. Mm. I'm getting like a Highland Park level of peat mm. on the tail end. Maybe just under, just slightly under. Five parts per million. If you're calling that one correct, my hat is tipped, <laughs> sir. That is, mm. when you're doing five ppm. Well, I'm just saying it's light. I know five ppm. I do pick up a little bit of a smoke whiff in there, but I was thinking mo more like Bomore. If I was picking up some peat, it's more like the Bomore peat where I get a little bit of like a, a little bit of a sulfury, a little touch of sour, but it's hard when peat gets real faint because sometimes that's what the peat puts off anyway. I'm not, I'm not saying what distillery it was from, I'm just saying the level was similar to like the Highland Park 12 level of peat kind of saying a distillery though don't you think highland park <laughs> now do you just mean the highland region no i'm oh. just saying the level of peat is about the same as if you drank a 12-year highland park oh okay it just threw me then when you then said but i'm not saying a distillery i'm like but you just did i'm complexing. not saying highland park peat oh anybody else confused I'm not saying it's from Lafroig. <laughs> Got it. I'm just saying the level of peat is similar to the Highland Park 12. I'm with you. Then you broke down to 5 ppm, which yeah. is, I know exactly what Highland Park's ppm is. About right? 10, I think. Oh, okay. All right. My bad. I got confused. That happens easily. <laughs> <laughs> then you're like, oh, that tastes more like a Bamore. And I'm like, I feel I'm not like there's a Bamore. I'm not naming the distiller. I'm saying hypothetically in my mind, I think Bamore when I have a taste. I just got a hint of, hint of sherry on the nose. Very hint, very faint hint. Would you say it's like a Glen Farkless sherry? Mmm. Mmm. -mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah, definite sherry. The peat is actually, more smoke starting to come through now that it's on my palate and soaking I just, in. I just got a little more too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At, at, at the first, yeah. At the first, there was just like a faint wisp mm -hmm. of it. And now it's um, it's mm -hmm. definitely, you can, I mean, it's still not. I'm with you on the 5 ppm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Well-aged grain whiskey is approximately 15% of the recipe. It adds layers of sweetness and vanilla character. Mm -hmm. The single malt whiskeys from four Highland distilleries Ooh, did you not read that? are aged in a combination of American oak, French oak, and sherry butts. Wow, look at you. Each contributing rich complexity, approximately 6% of the recipe is made up of heavily peated Isla single malt Ooh, whiskey. Ooh, it is an Isla. Wow. Providing a resonant, delicious base note to the blend. Wow, 6% is an Isla whiskey. Isn't that something? With all the Highland stuff in there. I'm a little impressed hmm. with what you said and then how you read it. <laughs> all right. I will say the most interesting thing about this is it continues to morph and change. Because mm -hmm. I will agree with you, the second or third time I went back and sipped it, the peat seemed to be coming more to the forefront. Mm -hmm. Right at the beginning of the, like the third act, just prior to the finish, I was like, oh, I'm getting more peat right there. Hmm. Making it a very pleasant sipper that transitions through movements. And it has opened up. It was a little stuffy at first. When I first opened, pulled the cork and opened it and poured it, 
definitely a lot more coming out now. Hmm. 88 for me. 88. And I'm curious to see if it'll change more. Yeah, but 91. 88. Yeah, 88 good. Yeah. No, uh, but it's a nice combination, I think, of age, of sherry, of peat. Very well done. Some of those comp compass box notes, the tropical fruits buried in there. Nice layers. There are layers. Mm -hmm. hmm. I really want to know what the Lafroy dram is that's in there, though. Isla. Sorry. I said Lafroy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's Lafroy. It's an Isla. Freudian not. slip. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I go, ah, hard bag, hard bag, hard bag. Lafroy, Lafroy, Lafroy. It could be more. Mm -hmm. Could be my first call, my yeah. first instinct. Maybe He's correct. He said it almost tasted more like a little more. Oh, let's, we'll have to uh, yep, we'll check have out. To I don't know if that recipe's on the website. If they have that up on the Compass Box website being a special release. You have for, to uh, ask. Sometimes if you yeah. email, they'll tell That's true. That's true. Good so. point. Uh, 91. Now, I know the price point on this. Uh, we had not been able to get this. Benny's does not ship to Kansas. I don't know if they ship out of the state at all. Sadly. Um, if they can ship outside of Chicago, outside of Illinois. I wish they could because Benny's gets a heck of a they, nice selection. I look forward to, I mean, you know, people go to Canton to the Football Hall of Fame. They go to Washington, D.C. to the Smithsonian. And when I go to uh, Chicago, I want to go to Benny's. Yes, you're right. I want to go to Benny's. I want to see my brother and I want to see Ben Dietrich. And then mm. we got a few other fans from the Chicago area yeah. as well. Tom R. Yep, yep. So there's some... Uh, we we need to make a few pilgrimages. Speak, oh, you know what? Speaking of Tom R. Oh, speaking of, oh, you open the right window here. Oh, you're good. You got <laughs> tier upon tier. They're just flying in. Look and at that. Let's go. Tom oh. R. Is at Lake Tahoe. Oh, wait, we already well, talked we about that. that one. We did do. We that already one did from Tom R. One. We did. I thought yep. maybe you had another one. Nope. I thought he sent in a spa, um, uh, a spread. Uh, 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 a Doug. Gaggle. Doug Chris up. Oh. Uh, he travels, goes through uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, uh, I'll read his email. I recently went to Nashville, Tennessee from New Orleans area uh, just for a bluegrass group at a famous bluegrass bar, the Station oh. Inn. Hmm. So the photo I got uses their sign as a background. It's not a landmark that a lot of people will recognize, but it's the reason I go to Nashville two to three times a year. And it's been there since 1974. And actually, I just saw he sent a link to a video that he's made of him... Uh, uh, he's got a music channel on YouTube. Let's play the fiddle. Here's a link to the only video I made inside, sitting really close. I post just music on my YouTube channel and have 200 plus subscribers without doing anything else. Good. So, uh, the picture is him holding up one of our coins in front of the uh, station in forty celebrating forty years sign. I've got some. And let's red just look real edge. quick here and see There's what the red name around the edge of that picture. I do see a fiddle. Fiddle and a banjo. Banjo. It's good knee slapper. Yep. That'll don't need the some trouble. Yeah, YouTube. If you go, yeah. Uh, if you go over like five seconds, they'll be like, boom, copyrighted material. Uh, Doug Chris Hope is the name of his channel. Sweet. And we are going to subscribe to Doug right now. We just did. Doug Chris Hope, C H R I S O P E. Go check out some of the music that he posts on his video, on his channel. And. Um, Patreon. I just answered a text from shout my wife. Outs. Let her know I was filming. Ah. Patreon shout outs. You know what? During the 12 hours of boom, we had Cocktail Maven on. Mm, that was a good show. AKA she, Lisa Carrington. Yeah, Lisa walked us through making several cocktails where I almost immediately broke our one ounce rule. <laughs> I think you did. <laughs> Break the one ounce rule. <laughs> Couldn't help it. They were so flavorful. And you were burning she pipe had his, tobacco. Well, yeah, she had us burning pipe tobacco yeah. and uh, orange, roasting orange, orange peel. Yeah, that was cool. You had a little We made a thing. Van Winkle uh, old Manhattan. Ooh, old Manhattan, old fashioned. Bad? Yeah, an old fashioned with No, Van we really Winkle. didn't get too no, much I, hate mail yeah, on that. Our people be like, what the hell? What are you doing? Uh, Lisa Carrington, though, became a $1 Patreon supporter. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you, Lisa. Lisa. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Ed Lee of Top Whiskeys. Uh, yeah. They have their own YouTube channel, Top oh, Whiskeys. Yeah, hmm. uh, we need to have them on a live stream. Matter of fact, they've I, I'd sent them an email a while back, see if they were up for it, and they they are good. Uh, one dollar supporter, Ed. Thank you very much. We're gonna yell this next one. 
Scotch Trooper. Ooh. Scotch Trooper is a three dollar supporter. So we got to yell. Scotch, Scotch Trooper. I'm I don't think Trooper. I'm a Trooper. I don't know if we need a picture. Everybody knows the Trooper. Everybody does know the Troop. He's more famous so, than us, I think. Let us know, Troop, if you want us to put a picture in. Yeah, we'll um, pull it up there. Mark? He started, well, I was going to say, <laughs> Trooper started his own Patreon page. If you watch the 12 Hours of Boom, he had a little setback. Yeah, it was a little he, sad. He started his own Patreon page. If you've seen Scott's Trooper's um, mm. work of of Star Wars and whiskey. Mm. He's got an Ardbeg Vader he, deal that's phenomenal. He He's now, you can help support his work on Patreon. I mean, you can give him a dollar a month, five dollars a month, ten dollars, right. same as same us. Same as us. So. Same as us. Support at whatever level you want. Yep. That blew up pretty quick for him, too. Yeah, it went real. I figured yeah. it would. He's got yeah. a lot of You lot and Aqua of, uh, kind of were like, try it, man. Try it. Um, Mark Wilson, $1 mm -hmm. supporter. Mm -hmm. Way to go, Mark. Yep. Thank you, Mark. Appreciate it very much. And we've said it. Our Patreon support helps us tremendously. Yep. Patreon.com. Look up Scotch Test Dummies. we got our videos on there. Um, we're trying to, and we're about due. About quarterly, we'll do a show with just our Patreon supporters able to view a little bit of extra special content. Uh, but quite honestly, we keep the show free. Our show is never going to cost anything. And our Patreon supporters just back us uh, really to help support us. So I've had Patreon fans. We've got a few things where you can get unique Patreon coin. You can get a unique polo shirt. I've literally had fans say, you don't need to give us anything or give me anything. I'm just like sport and show. And we're like, hey, we send it anyway. We just need your address. So, oh, and we're doing Lisa, a cool thing with well, Christmas Well, speaking, speaking of that with yeah. the, uh, the 1 million views postcard that you see. Yes. Lisa Cocktail Maven did her own little uh, Instagram video for us. She got her card. Mm, cool. But she said she didn't know if a picture of us in the bathtub was um, a thank you. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. I was just scrubbing your I'm like, And I said, uh, you're right. We should have been naked. Well, we were clothed in the yeah. tub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had a little fun. I'm almost out of those because what, what I do is whenever we, we did a uh, thank you card, like a photo collage, and I got extra ones, and then as we got new fans, I would send them out to everybody that leaves their address. Now, mm -hmm. come Christmas, come December time, we're going to do Christmas cards that we're going to send out, and I'll order extra ones of those. We're going to try to. Let's say we're going to try oh, to. Oh, no, we have to. Okay. I love it, dude. I okay. love it. You said that last year, too. And then Christmas came and went, and we didn't do them. But we did the thank you. No, we did the We've done the thank you. Views. Now we're on the roll. We're on the roll now. I think the Christmas cards are going to be cool. I'm jazzed up. And I'm drinking from Lana Lou's Tampa Bay Whiskey Society glass still. I've got the Thank regional, you, Lana Lou. little cognac glass. Lana Lou's going to be here October 19th and 20th for our yes. five. That's just real quickly. I know we're pushing our time limits here. Right. Uh, October 19th and 20th, go to scotchtestdummies.com. We're having our five-year anniversary slash birthday party here in Wichita, Kansas. we got a couple of ticketed events set up. There'll be some free hangouts and whatnot. Check out scotchtestdummies.com. Go to the events tab, and uh, you can get more details there. Chupacabra. Go to scotchtestdummies.com, buy our coins, and really help support the show. <laughs> you might end up with 451 or 452 from this review or a coffee mug. Maybe even a dropper set. Although we got to order more of those. We've almost sold out. All right, scotch it, you scotch gods. Salancha. Dummies. Dummies. Manga.